Hi, my name is Azul, my major is public health, and I want to dedicate to nutrition. So that's why I chose these three words, adipose, hypoperfusion, and hyperlipidemia. My first word is adipose. I separated the word in two, adi and pose. So adi makes you remember of the word ad. If you think something related to adding to the body, it makes me think of adding weight. So adding weight means adding fat to your body. Then the second part of the word pose makes me think of the position of the body. The position of the body shows you the different parts of your body. So putting this together, it means adipose, it's fat pertaining to some parts of the body. Then my second word, hypoperfusion, I divided into hypo and fusion. Hypo means under. How do we, do we remember this? Hypo ends with the word O. O sounds like below, so below or division, under, it's all related. And then fusion, when you think about fusion, you think about uh, when something comes together. So when we think of fusion, it's always fusion of liquids. And the most abundant liquid in our body is the blood. So, and blood travels through the organs and body. So hyperperfusion is the deficiency of blood fusion through the body and organs. And then my last word is hyperlipidemia. Hyper makes me remember of a kid being hyperactive, which means increased uh, levels of energy. Then lipid sounds like liposuction. Liposuction is the removal of fats in the body, which comes to the words fat, which fat is related with eating fast food sometimes, and fast food brings also high cholesterol. Emia makes me remember a Spanish word, which is pandemia. Pandemia means pandemic in English, and pandemic means big, something big. And emia also makes me remember of leukemia. Leukemia is a disease in the blood, which makes me remember of a friend that had it, that's why I'm so related to it. So it's basically goes to blood. So it's the uh, increased elevated levels of high cholesterol in the blood, 